Hello everyone, my name is David Soleita. I am a postdoctoral researcher at Universidad de los Andes in Bogota, Colombia. Today I'm going to present on behalf of my team our work entitled Optimal Coordination of Directional Earth Fault Over Current Relays NC67N in Interconnected Electric Power Systems. This is the outline of the presentation. I'll start with a brief introduction and a context of the problem. Then I will introduce the proposed approach. Uh, then I will explain the case study that we used to validate our results in our test, some assumptions, then the general tests in different cases and different simulations. And after that, I will show the findings and further work. So we identified different facts to illustrate the context of this approach. And first of all is to accept that the coordination of the directional overcurrent relays in interconnected systems is still and it is currently a challenging problem. Why? Well, for example, for this case, we are identified four different buses and we will check out what happens if we get a fall in between uh really one and two so first of all uh we got the primary backup personal just like this so we start uh, from the fastest uh trip to the uh to the non-fast uh, trip so the the first pairs are two four four six six eight and eight two inch from the other from the other side we got one seven seven five five three three one However, defining the time delay settings for pairs 3, 1 and A2 are, could, could be a, a, a challenge and there are conflict because TDS from relay 1 and TDS from relay 2 were already specified in the first place. So what we got to do here? On the other hand, we know that optimization is a suitable way and it has been applied over many decades ago to coordinate uh, directional overcurrent relays. Yet, uh, there is a minimal contribution in the literature about the optimal coordination when we talk about directional overcurrent relays focused on phase to ground faults. There is also an interest to optimize this type of release in recent applications such as smart grids and micro grids, basically because they are uh, cost effective alternatives for mitigating uh, the weekly mesh distribution networks and basically they are also used as a back, uh, backup protection for many other functions. Plus, the high impedance phase to ground faults are very common in distribution systems. So, what could be the gap that we are going to address on our research? Well, there are minimum contributions in the literature and the research uh, for optimal coordination in the 67N overcurrent release. And uh, we do not know how an high impedance faults affect speed and selectivity, and we would like to assess that. Uh, to see how the protection system should be adjusted and optimized. This figure shows the fundamental and well-known basics of this model where we got two relays, uh, two primary relays where they successfully trip when we got a fault in between the near end and the fore end. And this tripping should uh, adjust the constraint of the selectivity criteria where the primary really must trip first. The objective function of the proposed approach is to finance a minimization optimization problem uh, defined by the average of the sum of operating times of all primary relays for two folds, the near end and far end, under consideration. Uh, basically minimizing this operation will maximize the speed uh, and this will be subjected to the selectivity criteria in according to the relay delay with uh, the lower and upper bounds. In our study we use the OpenDSS solver and the neutral earth model basically to reach two of the main contribution of this work which is um, 
to include the effect of grounding resistance in the earth or the neutral path and to see in a sense the effect of the high impedance falls upon the current distribution in the optimization solution. The process to validate the optimization approach will be running the optimization model several times during the fault resistance from 0 to, uh, to 50 ohms uh, and by steps of 0.1 ohm. The output variables will be of course the objective function to check the speed and the optimal time dial settings to check uh, uh, the variation uh, due to the resistance, uh, default resistance. So we use the well-known 69 kV positive sequence 3 bus system included in the reference 1 and we convert it into a multi-phase multi-branded system using the OpenDSS solver uh, which basically the both systems are equivalent with the same positive sequence impedances. The details of the model are located in the reference one where we converted the 69 kV positive sequence three bus systems using this data. There are certain assumptions that we use for this approach. I'll just highlight three of them. Uh, for example, the transient configurations are not included. We will like to include that in the future work. Uh, only the time delayed relays are considered not a uh, definite time and the circuit breaker operations times are not included in the optimization solution. This is the general structure of the optimization model for the three bus case study that we mentioned before. And this will be easily solved. Uh, in this case, we use the MATLAB's LIMPRONG tool with fault currents taking from OpenDSS engine using the COM interface between MATLAB and OpenDSS. We have two main cases, the solid fault and the results uh, for this case uh, will be that uh, the ob uh, objective function is around 3.6551 seconds and this will be the time dials for each one of the six relays in the case study. And the second case, uh, we got a uh, fault resistance equal to 10 ohms, and this will be the optimization structure. And in this case, we got an objective function of 2.3222 seconds. And this will be the time dials for each one of the wheels. In this case, uh, we got lower TDS that in the solid uh, fault which is the previous one and in this case this is faster than the case one so we wanted to check the general performance of the objective function from a zero impedance up to 50 ohms so note here we started in case one and see how the objective function decreases reaching a faster operation until it breaks uh, close in between 50 to 20 uh, to 20 ohms. After that, we consider that the operation time deteriorates as far as the uh, fault resistance grows, and that means that some TDS are founded to the minimum. This will be a sum for uh, the performance of each one of the TDS of the six relays in between uh, 0 to 50 ohms. Finally, we make a verification to validate the sensitivity of the optimization solution for both cases. Uh, after 5,000 simulations uh, randomly done with the Monte Carlo programming, uh, we got uh, to accomplish the cases of the coordination criteria with 100% of selectivity. These are the findings and conclusions of our work. Uh, we highlighted the most important and basically we found that uh, the current practice of, this, uh, of, uh, of the optimization of solid faults are uh, in real life suboptimal. We, we can reach a better optimization solutions when we included the high impedance faults. 
before the work is clear, we gotta propose a, a further solution for this problem, including an stochastic optimization problem, including maybe the transient uh, behavior of these switching devices. Uh, thank you all for your attention.